In this series of shorts, we follow 15 ordinary people on an extraordinary journey through Africa. In the ultimate test this summer, our participants fish in the Atlantic Ocean, sleep rough in the desert, fetch their own water, and confront the harsh truths about their home country's history in this continent. Like most other countries in this part of the world, Senegal is tackling a major climate change problem. It's led to flooding and poor sanitation across even the country's capital city, where infrastructure is more sophisticated than remote and desert parts. This is Dakar, the capital of Senegal. A few years ago, this entire area was flooded and people ran scared from wastewater that was riddled with bacterial diseases. Mandu dos Santos Pinto is an urban architect. He's helping the nearby community to turn flood waste into usable water. The name of the project is uh, Live with Water. And uh, why Live with Water? Actually, we are in Senegal, in Dakar, in urban Senegal. Uh, we have a big problem actually because of climate change. Uh, rainfall was always stronger. So uh, big parts of the cities were flooded. It affects two million people in uh, Dakar only. And uh, so water is a problem for them. And uh, we, with our project, we developed solutions uh, of infrastructure, of uh, increasing resilience, so that people can live with water and take it as an asset. For Mandu and this local community, it isn't enough to just drain flood water away they had to find a way to use the problems associated with flooding to turn climate change around and improve lives in this area. Actually, our idea was not to tackle only the question of uh, floods, of the rain floods, so not only draining water outside of the settlements, but use them. So that was also already a challenge because people said, what, water? No, the water is a problem, we want to get rid of it. And uh, because of these uh, strong rainfalls in the middle of the cities, we have now newly created uh, lakes, which actually were a problem. People were putting their garbage there because they didn't want this water. Uh, small criminals were around these areas. Uh, it was insecure, it was smelling. So people wanted really just to have this water away, uh, which uh, a lot of uh, houses were uh, broken, break, break down because of that. And, but we've seen actually this water and these new lakes, we can use it. So you see here uh, in this lake, uh, what we did uh, is actually the water, we use it now for urban gardening. All around the lake, there are some plots of uh, agriculture, of urban gardening. So people are not disposing anymore their waste here. Uh, it creates a better ambience. Uh, now people even come for jogging at night or use these spaces. Uh, and before at uh, 7 p.m. no one were walking around here because it was dangerous. And uh, I think that is what uh, really got a good effect is to see and to show that water, this rain which was a, a bad water, it's turning into good. The process of changing not just the physical makeup of the lakes but also local attitudes has been challenging. Mandu explains that solving one problem was never enough because another would soon follow. What we also tackled with this project is actually that we got uh, a whole uh, problem and uh, an holistic approach on the topic because uh, only tackling the water we would have only drained the water out but now we are storing it, but also uh, there are other problems which are uh, connected with this rainwater because we have septic tanks here or, or poor latrines and they were flooded too, so it was uh, getting a hygiene problem, a huge hygiene problem. We made an assessment also of all the um, people are getting sick because of that. So uh, the, our project uh, separates now the rainwater, which we store in the lakes, it uh, connected a uh, whole area here. We have the pilot access just behind uh, with uh, uh, 500 people now who have a sanitation infrastructure with a simplified sewer system. 
Rubbish is often disposed of with disregard to the environment, and Mandu is keen to ensure the community here realize the land's potential. He's come up with another idea of how to address that. Actually, by uh, showing that with waste, you can do things, you can recycle them, but it's also an asset. Uh, we are changing this kind of things also, putting in a small-scale waste management and recycling systems. But keeping Mandu's dreams for this city alive will need the residents to play their part too. I think it's the basis. Uh, you cannot do uh, projects anywhere <laughs> without uh, involving the people who are concerned. Next time on Selfies in Africa, we hear from our team as they reflect on a trip that was meant to give them a reality check. A month on from the day this journey began, how do they feel about their time in Africa?